the biggest difference between the Roborock S7 and the iRobot Roomba J7 involves navigation and obstacle detection. The S7 generally navigates much better than the J7 because it features LiDAR navigation, while the J7 is limited to a camera-based navigation system. Note how the S7 moves around the cluttered environment we use for our navigation testing with much greater precision and efficiency than the J7. The difference in movement is especially evident around more complex, larger obstacles like chair legs. The S7, however, is limited to navigating around larger obstacles. It cannot detect or avoid smaller obstacles like shoes or pet waste. It runs right over them. While the J7 is able to detect most such obstacles and for the most part avoid them. Here, the advantage clearly lies with the J7. The scale once again tips in favor of the S7 when we take a closer look at coverage around the auto empty dock for its robot. The S7 does get good coverage around its auto empty dock. The J7 does not. It repeatedly did not cover the areas immediately surrounding its auto empty dock during testing. Another big difference between these two robots involves their mopping ability. The S7 comes with a mopping attachment and is able to double as a mopping robot. The J7 doesn't come with an attachment and is also not compatible with any such attachment. It cannot mop. Another difference between these models involves battery life. The S7 has a larger battery with a runtime of 180 minutes. The J7 has a much smaller battery with a runtime of only 100 minutes. The two robots also differ quite a bit in their carpet deep cleaning performance. The S7 picked up only 3 grams of 30 grams of fine debris in our carpet deep cleaning test on default power at 62 decibels of noise output. The J7 picked up 6 grams of debris in the same test, also on default power at 65 decibels of noise output. The S7 was able to pick up 6 grams of debris in the same test when set to maximum power but at 69 decibels of noise output. The J7 can only be kept on default power. It doesn't have any secondary higher or lower power settings. Now would also be a good time to talk about how each robot picks up debris on carpet and hard floors. The S7 has a single brush roll, while the J7 has two. Both robots have low tested airflow and suction, but we believe the J7's extra brush roll and the extra agitation that it provides over carpet is what allowed it to perform better in our carpet deep cleaning test on default power. This difference in design did not make much of a difference in our carpet stress test or our hard floor stress test. Both robots were able to pick up surface level debris on either surface type without much difficulty cleaning edges very well also in each test. The S7 single brush roll did tangle more with longer hair than the J7's two brush rolls. 70 to 90% of the hair the S7 picked up in our human hair pickup test tangled around its brush roll. 50 to 70% of the hair the J7 picked up in the same test tangled around its two brush rolls. The S7 did get 100% pickup in our pet hair pickup test, while the J7 did not. Some combination of the J7's clearance off the ground, its two brush rolls, and or its low airflow and suction kept it from properly picking up pet hair in this test. Both robots do come with well-developed apps. It's very easy to control either robot, and it's very easy to set no-go zones or cleaning zones for either robot. Lastly, we need to mention bin size and self-emptying. Both robots come with similarly sized bins. The S7's bin has a volume of 470 milliliters, while the J7's bin has a volume of 500 milliliters. Both robots are also fully compatible with self-empty docking stations. The plus model of each robot comes with a self-empty dock. The base model is only compatible with these docks. In terms of general recommendations, the S7 is a better robot vacuum overall than the J7. With LiDAR, it generally navigates much better than the J7. It can also mop while the J7 cannot. The S7 also has much better battery life, features multiple power settings so that it can be set to a lower noise output, and unlike the J7, has no trouble picking up tufts of pet hair on hard floors. So overall, we recommend the S7 over the J7.
See the description of this video for buy links for these robots and for the latest updated list of all of the robot vacuums we recommend. And thank you for watching.